Hi everyone, so if you have upgraded to iOS 18 or iPad OS 18 and you went to look for your passwords, you know the ones that you use with the autofill in Safari and in other apps as well that allow you to do it where it automatically saves your password and then you can retrieve it when you're ready. So if you go to a site, you don't have to remember your passwords. Although it's a good idea to remember them, but this will automatically fill them in for you. Now, in iOS 18 and iPadOS 18, they've moved it. It's no longer under your settings where you might be familiar with it. And in a way, they've kind of made it a little bit more accessible and they've made it an app here right here on your home screen. So I've got it right here. You can see down at the bottom here, I've got passwords. And just in case you're wondering, none of the passwords, if you see any of them in here, are real or any of the sites that I'm using. I've made them up. So don't try and get into them if, if you've seen them. So all I have to do now is go to my passwords. It's got it there. I'm using my face ID to unlock it. If you've got touch ID, it will use that. And if you've got neither of those or it doesn't detect either, either of them, you will then get to use the passcode instead. So here I am, I'm in here, you can see it's got a nice easy display. Some people will be very critical of this app. I think it, it's, uh, it's okay. I do have another app as well that I use for storing my passwords as well. But anything that I've saved and I've said, like when I'm filling it in, say in Safari, and it says, do I want to save this password? This is where it is going. It's also saved things like my Wi-Fi passwords as well, and also my pass keys. It's got some other codes in there as well. You can see that there's a group there for deleted and security. Now this is a useful one because it can show you where you've got things where your password may have been compromised, it's in a data leak, maybe it's not very strong and you need to change it. Okay, so let's just go into all here. Now, as I said, I've made these up. So these are not real, but what you can see in the ones that I did here, as you can see, I've got one here that says A1 website. It's got an exclamation mark next to it. It means that it's a weak password. And you can see I've got three others the same because I made them up. And you'll see that when I go in here, it's a very, very basic password. And believe me, I don't use this password. So if I go into it, you can see it's got my username, Gary, that's obviously not the right username. It's got the password. It's warning me here that I've got a weak password. Now, if you want to see what the password is, all you've got to do is tap on it. You can also see it's popped up with copy password. I could copy it. I could then paste it in somewhere else. I could paste in something and send it to someone and so on. Now that could be useful if you've got someone and they're using your Wi-Fi and you want to share that with them so you could copy it from that section that said, or that group that said Wi-Fi so you could share the password there. I do not use this is a password as you can see on the screen here. Okay, so that's the one I can do that. I can now copy it and send it. So really quite simple to get into. I could, let me just go back into it. So all I have to do here if I want to is click on edit. I can change the password if I want. There's things like setting up codes and verification codes if there's two-step authentication. I've not put in a website here either. And if I didn't want this anymore, I could delete that password. So when I'm done, I just tap on done. And that's it really. So that's the password that I've got in there. So let's just go to this one at the top here that doesn't have an exclamation mark next to it. It doesn't have anything there. It's coming up with a verification code and that verification code could be used for two-step authentication if you need it. And it tells you that down here, strong password and verification code. This password is long, difficult to guess and unique. Your verification code protects your account in case your password is stolen. So this might update if that verification code updates as well. So good idea, use two-step authentication for any of your passwords and that protect yourself and just be aware of anything too good to be true and people who you're not expecting to contact you to get information from you. If I was to look here, by the way, in Wi-Fi, you can see I've got Wi-Fi passwords down here as well. You can see that there are some there that I could use. And if I was to go into, say, this 
Raven I1 here. You can see it's got a password there. I'm not going to tap on it, but if I did, I could copy it like I did before. I actually don't think this one's too bad. It is free, it comes with it. Others that you've got to pay for. I do have another one that I have to pay for. It does have perhaps more features in it, but do I really use them? This does do the autofill and fill things in for you. You do need the face ID, touch ID, and passcode. And it is encrypted as well. So if you're using Safari and you want it to fill in something for you, or if you want to some other apps as well, then that will do it for you. And it will update if you change your password. It'll ask you to update your autofill. And it is synchronizing across my devices, so with my iPad as well. So actually, all in all, I think this is not too bad. So if you're wondering where the passwords moved from the settings, they are now here in the Passwords app. If you do like this, please do like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more.